once you stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Oh no, once again you stepped into the world of survival horror. Alright, welcome back folks to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Last time? Uh, we think we lost Sherry. And so, okay, in addition to my TV looking like crap, I'm also not wearing my glasses and, are, is pre and I'm pretty far away from the screen. So, try to see uh, how I can find my way around here. Uh, for now, I'm going to go down the ladder and see where that heads down. Okay. Ah, I believe this is a map. No. Wait. I came down here as Sherry. Alright. Wait, did I? Various codes and meters are placed in order. Oh, shit! Yeah. That's the sort of thing that is either something you love or hate about Resident Evil. The fact that it can just surprise you like that. I, I, I always kind of go back and forth on it. But most of the time I don't like it because it's like, God damn it, I just fucking lost my health. But I think that might be because I always play Resident Evil on more challenging difficulties. Um, like I noticed this annoyed me so much more in Silent Hill. Or sorry, this annoyed me so much less in Silent Hill. Where I usually play on relatively easy difficulties. But that's because... Or no, when I played the, did that on Silent Hill 1 and 2, um, I did that because I didn't know the games very well. And when I tried it for Silent Hill 3, I actually felt like it almost destroyed my experience playing the game. Like, there was that time- I had that kind of realization of, man, I could have had so much better time if I didn't fucking, uh, just stay so- stay so stubborn and kept at- kept at this so much. Because it got to the point where it just stopped being fun. Especially for a game where the controls are a bit off and there's not much more to, s to mastering them. Like, you get a lot more out of the game by knowing what's ahead. Knowledge will is more important than skill in that game. Or maybe they just kept coming to mind because a lot of the uh, a lot of the puzzles in that game were fucking stupid. Like I know every damn Shakespeare play there is. All right. Uh, let's see. Over here, I believe is where Leon should eventually come up, but it looks like I can't do much here. Okay, so, continue on the look for Sherry. Ooh, here's the map. Here's the sewer map. Will you take it? You've taken the sewer map. Okay. Let's figure this out. Alrighty then. Hmm. Ah, and they even make a little bit of an end of a, uh... Uh... They, they make a little bit of a marking as to where Sherry should be. Or at least I think that's where she is, or should be. Um, yeah, the long entry, bend way, yeah, that should be where she is. Okay. And, let's keep going. Alright. Ah, is this the one where the fan is going too fast? Ooh, heck yeah it is. There's a ventilation hole at the ba base of the ladder. I think you mean at the top of the ladder. The fan is spinning too fast for me to enter. Okay, not much here. Oh boy. Nothing? Oh, flame rounds. Okay. Probably should have put away the grenade rounds I found, actually. Do I still have my- yes I do. Oh, spiders. Shit. Several bullet holes here. It's too dark to see what's inside. Alright. Yeah, I remember this area being kind of padded out with Leon. Because it, it had to be... It had to work with two different playthroughs. Going through very similar locations. But here it feels a little more, uh... Streamlined. Alright. And there's the waterfall. Oh, crap. Were there two doors there? Shoot. I don't want to go in directly to get munched on by spiders. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, no, there weren't. The other doorway, I think, is to the final exit, but I gotta get to Sherry first. And, Jesus! 
Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's key virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? Hurry! Wh what is this thing? Fire! So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Ah! It's Sherry! You go that way. Oh shit! Sorry, my court, uh, my uh, my controller cable got uh, locked up and something. God damn it! Forgot that you need that Shasta. You go that way. I'm going the same way too because I need to get something. <laughs> I was saying that knowledge is more important in Silent Hill, but here, yeah, you, knowledge about where to go next is also still important because I forgot that you needed the valve here. Because I was like, oh yeah, you have to turn the, the, uh, the platforms, and then I forgot, oh shit, you need the freaking valve to do that. Okay. So, 
Let's see, let's... Oh, I, yeah, I forgot to put this away. Put that away. Uh, do I have any more grenades or regular old grenades? I think these are regular grenades? Ah, uh, they might be. Yeah, it looks like I didn't have any flame rounds because I think that I think I used them up because I thought they were useless. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. All right, so now the slow trek back. Thankfully, I haven't really taken any damage from anything besides a single zombie swipe. And I'm hoping I can avoid the giant tarantulas. Hopefully, Sherry is not going to get munched on at this point. Seems like the tarantulas are easy enough to avoid. I think I, most of my, like, negative memories around these guys had to do with Remake, where they keep sticking them in much smaller hallways. Yep. And I'm gonna have- and of course I'm gonna have to turn that around later on. And here's a herb. Green herb. Okay. Okay, I need to remember, do I have to turn this again? I don't think I do. Um... Because I don't think I go up at any point. Fuck. I can't remember. Alright. Flame rounds. Nice. Okay. I'm <laughs> the safe point of here of all things. I I swear that light off the or that reflection off the floor was a uh, a document. But I guess it would have given a little bit of a sparkle. Is... Yeah, this place. Do I have a... Yes. <laughs> I thought that, that kept going down. That's what happens when you have a crummy TV you're working off of. I actually think there is a way to beat this guy without using the, uh, the explosive they supply you with. Um, but I don't- I'm not- I'm not sure about that enough to, uh, stake my life on it. There we go! There's a sweet old fountain of blood that went there. I find it weird that the, um, uh, that the grate goes down, even though it's clear the game could load the next area. Well, maybe it couldn't load collision with the next area. Come on, wake up, Sherry. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Alright, and... I saw a damn medallion. Where the hell is it? There it is. Alright, oh, there is a way up here. I really hope I don't have to backtrack all the way over there. And, uh... Uh, and raise the platform. I hope I can do it from this level, too. All right. Nothing much here. God damn it. Fuck. Needless backtracking, but only because I was a fucking moron. I guess it's this sort of thing that like is going to make them w that ultimately choke made that pushed them to Oh my god. Sherry thinks I'm not 
Can she not see me? Yeah, but it's this sort of thing I'm assuming that pushed them ultimately to make time trial a challenge of sorts. Because it means that if you've played the game and know th and remember the game well enough, then um, beating this game under, I think it's like an hour and a half with one guy without saving, you know, it's ultimately just like, whoa, nice job. <laughs> Time to go back all the way up and climb the ladder so we won't be stuck. I would like to point out that during the entirety of that room, Sherry never really got away from me because I, damn it, because I was always so close, um, so close, or I was trying to make sure that she, I wouldn't run away too far from her. But in this tiny room, I somehow got uh, Sherry to, get, to not realize I'm there. Okay. Now, I believe this is where the other medallion is going to be. Yep. Eagle medal. Man, how much worse would it have been if I did actually- if I didn't actually have, uh, room there? He's like, oh fuck, I gotta backtrack again. Sewer manager diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after complaining- after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. I- it never really came- um... It really doesn't come off as- come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and he kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot. But he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? Chief Irons has been visiting lately. Uh, visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's all, uh, all, what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all, after all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. J July twenty-first. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't know. But I don't. Uh, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August sixteenth. Chief Irons came, uh, came in late today, looking for, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect? August 21st, Williams informed me that the police and, uh, and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there will be, uh, there is even a possibility they'll search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, uh, for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> I didn't even realize Sherry uh, didn't see me anymore, or wasn't following me anymore. But, um, yeah, that's what happens when you're part of a, uh, kind of, uh, about a crummy operation. Stop the rotation of the fan. I'm assuming it already stopped. The ventilation hole at the end of the ladder. The, span is fin the fan is spinning too fast for me. Is it with a valve? Really? That's so weird. Seems like it would be a switch. Because a valve is... 
Well, then again, with the other one, that's that's true as well. Uh, that why would you use a valve for that? Ventilation slot at the end of the ladder where you go up the ladder. I really hope Sherry doesn't. I think this is what happened last time: is that Sherry got. Uh, Okay, they didn't have the roaches come out. There's a ladder where you go down the ladder, yes. I think now they also give you zombies instead of uh, tarantulas, since the tarantulas can lunge at you from super far, uh, super far away and come at you super fast. Okay. So the awkward run just to make sure that... Wait, what the hell is that? Okay, so I should be good. Jesus, I thought that actually was going to hit Sherry. Okay, so now... What a strange key system. For some reason, the use of these, like, very specific objects reminds me of Inception. Shit, Jesus! That could have been close. Or that could have been bad. Oh boy. Alright, now what's here? Nothing really? Wow. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? Jesus, all the way there? Sherry couldn't follow me a few feet? A control panel for the Sky Tram. We turn the power on. Alright. Let's go. Oh, just went? Okay. Oh, I'm confusing- I keep always confusing this one for the much longer one that has the... Uh, that goes down instead of sideways. The W box key, which I believe is the weapons box key. Flare gun, I need- I need something to light it. Ah, oh, crap, I need my lighter. Oh no, I don't need my lighter, it's just helpful because I think I, like, I find something on the ground? so weird that I need a flare to do that instead of a flashlight. Or hell, even the lighter just lighting on its own. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay. So the guys here are dead. Let's see what's over here. God damn it. I think I kinda saw him, but it was like But it was a bit hard to see him. It was like I wasn't entirely sure if that if he was a zombie. Okay, they're dead. What's over here? And Oh shit, it's one of the I think Oh, it's that weird ass weapon. Okay. Gonna heal. Spark shot! Yeah, I think this is actually the more powerful version of this machine gun. Oh, I just left her there. To stay crouched and kneeling beneath these- or next to these zombies. Shit. Is there anyone there? No, there wasn't. Oh, there he is. 
He's... Wait, is he dead? Oh, he is dead. Okay. Good for now. Shit, that was the worst position to be in. God damn it. Yep, worst position. Wait, what? Shit! Oh, that was loud as hell. Can't carry any more items. I think there's actually two of those. Wait, fuck, Sherry! Alright, come on, Sherry. Power walk with me. You only need your le your right leg to do this. Go up the ladder. And then put away items to go backwards. As you do. Okay. It's a good thing I correctly guessed that this is a uh, save room. Okay. So the machine gun is now completely empty. Oh no, I think you actually get a uh, magazine later on. Uh, this, I'll put it away. Uh, this I don't think I need for a while, as well. Um, put this in there. Uh, weapon box key, I'll hold on to. I'll put away the poison... thingy. And, uh... Yeah, just go back and collect everything. I'm not even gonna collect the stuff in this room because... Worse comes to worse, and I come... Worst comes to worst, I could have a completely full inventory and then have to leave something that I came here specifically for and just leave it behind. Did she really... Oh! No, Sherry didn't come with me! Okay, that's cool. That's actually really smart that Sherry would, like, stay at a point where she feels safe. That is, unless I just missed her and I still have to go back no matter what. I'm gonna be pissed if that's the case. Okay, good. Alright, so Sherry was being smart. Wait, what? Do I have to go across? What's with the extra scary music now? What the hell, was that really functionally useless? I remember it at least leaving like a tiny little twinkle that I could pick up. Or was that the weapons key that I just uh, picked up the first time? And what if I do it again? It's already been used. Maybe on the other side? There is no other side. God damn it, why? Is that just the weapons key? Okay. Let's just go around here for a bit. God damn it. Uh, oh, whoa. Grenades. Alright, and... So, how do I go into this next area? Um... I'll keep the spark shot. Uh, put away the lighter, obviously. Keep the weapons key. Um, put away both the herbs. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, since I want to keep, uh, leave all my acid rounds for the final sets of bosses, uh, I'm instead going to, uh, put my grenade launcher in for, with the flame rounds. Oh! Oh, and I think it actually is using the, uh... I think I'm actually currently using the... Yeah, I was using the regular grenade launcher ammo. 
Uh, okay, then I'm gonna keep it like this then. Actually, I think flame is the least effective against bosses. So I'm gonna use the regular grenades. Okay. And, and you know what? I'm gonna save. Just in case, because I, I remember some of the bosses gave me trouble last time. Because I was a bit... I underestimated them. Alright. Now I'm ready. And... Oh! I was actually expecting to find nothing. <laughs> Alright, uh, here's the platform. I'm kind of expecting again to find nothing, but that's because I'm supposed to be get, being more familiar with this area. Damn it, Sherry! I don't even think that's poor- that's proper squatting technique. Yeah, this one is not the weapons, it's just the, um... That one is a key that you need that is in the tram. So the idea being you have to be used to the inside and- You have to see the inside and outside before you can start this thing. Control panel. Alright. I'm surprised Sherry doesn't stay in here. Actually, I'd be surprised if she doesn't. No, she fucking came out with us! Who the fuck was gonna get her in there? Push the activation? Yes. I'm- oh, I find it hilarious there that she just like climbs it like any other big stair when she could have just used the ladder. Sherry, my forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Security panel. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and access from the outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Be hilarious if they didn't notice that, or if they didn't mention that, and they and so like the implication would be that Cherry just locked our asses out. Way stronger than I expected. Good night, sweet Williams. Uh, how many more shots do I have on this? I think it's like five per shot, so I think I have eight shots left. Alright. Sherry. Uh,
Claire? Oh, you're finally awake. Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone, but now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. <laughs> Sherry... Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back, as soon as I found the antidote for you. Interesting vocabulary on Sherry there. Uh, anything else more to say? Anything more to say? Apparently not. Herbs in the fridge. Well, I guess it's a, it, this is a lab, so... Flame rounds! Yay! I think actually the flame rounds are one of the only ways you can actually kill, like, some of the enemies here. So it actually is a good thing to have around, on you. Okay, where's the... there it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put away the spark shot for now because I think it is more useful later. Um, I know you use this, but not now, like in a little bit. Uh, put away the handgun bullets. And, where's more handgun bullets? Yeah, there they are. And put away the acid rounds because I don't think I'll need those. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna put in my handgun bullets. And put in my handgun. Okay. So, uh... I'll use the... I'll use my handgun for the zombies, and the flame rounds for the plants, if I remember correctly. That this is where they are. And I also think there's something down here. Oh, it's just an elevator. But I could have sworn there were plants nearby. Man, this place looks really creepy with my settings on, because it looks so red. I think actually, in addition to being having ridiculous saturation, I think my TV also has like its tinting completely off. Alright, and um So power is not supplied. And with no power, I can't read the card key. But then how the hell did the- does any of these doors open that are automatic? Yeah, in this one it has power. Or I guess it's like, sir, it taps in a different power? Fuse case. I legitimately would not have been able to see that. I'm sure this was really impressive back in the day. Not so much now. Main fuse. So weird that a fuse would be like that. And usually the advantage of, uh, of using mechanical arms is that they would be much faster, but that job was quite slow. I guess it may be just, it's all the other advantage of electro- of, uh, robotic armatures is that it's very uniform, so maybe it's like, this fuse was built exactly the same way as the other ones. Which actually is very important for a fuse. Uh, okay. Oh, the other one... I don't have a card key, and that other door I know doesn't lead anywhere. It leads to, like, a weapons locker that I can't access until very late in the game. So I don't know how many of you guys have been on, like, the internet for long enough to, like, remember sites where you would just download short clips that wouldn't be connected to YouTube. 
But for some reason, this is one I always remember seeing in one of those sites when I didn't have access to Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Although for some reason, it like cuts out the entire bit with a net. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get this clip isolated. It's because it was part of Wesker's report, which I think was included for one of the Code Veronica games. Although I didn't have that version. Right? I don't think I did. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? I was I was always impressed by the little bit of uh just smart design here. The fact that they made that a first person shot, so they didn't have to show who was speaking. What was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! I believe like no matter which version of this you get, you get both you get a. Both both women will say the same line. <laughs> Hang in there, Sherry. Your forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry. He didn't even touch her forehead. So who throws a steel pipe? It's kind of cool that like. William Birkin's head moved into his shoulder. Uh, 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 is it supposed to sound like she's kissing her on the forehead or something? 